on a sunny morning in November 2019, the Acropolis Museum in Athens welcomed a distinguished group of visitors. Prokopis Palopoulos, then President of Greece, and his guests, Chinese President Xi Jinping and his wife, Peng Liyuan. There, they stopped in front of a basso olivo, dated circa 460 BC, the morning Athena. She is thinking what wars are truly for, she told Palopoulos. He went on to cite a Chinese proverb that goes in the same vein of advocating peace. The true art of war is the art of stopping wars. She said the tour had deepened his understanding of ancient Greek civilization. He firmly believes that different civilizations need to engage in dialogue and exchanges on an equal footing to facilitate mutual learning. Ούτε η Κίνα θέλει να επιβληθεί στον πολιτισμό το δικό μας, ούτε εμείς θέλουμε να επιβάλλουμε το δικό μας πολιτισμό. Και υπάρχει αυτός ο σεβασμός της ισοτιμίας των πολιτισμών. Να μπορέσουμε μέσα από το διάλογο των πολιτισμών να δείξουμε την αξία της ειρήνης σε ένα δύσκολο κόσμο όπως είναι ο σημερινός. During the visit to Greece in 2019, President Xi also proposed that the two countries should set an example of cultural exchanges and mutual learning among civilizations. Inspired by Xi's proposal, the center of Chinese and Greek ancient civilizations was inaugurated in Athens in February 2023, after three years of preparation. This center aims to promote bilateral exchanges of scholars and students to advance the study of the two civilizations. In the same month, President Xi replied to a letter from several Greek scholars, while also extending congratulations on the founding of the center. We knew that President Xi is interested in history, archaeology, culture. He has emphasized the fact that uh, uh, cultures should look at their past, their history. Uh, great civilizations should uh, approach each other. He congratulated us and then also encouraged us to continue. Over the years, China and Greece have engaged in diversified cultural exchanges and collaborated to promote the preservation of cultural heritages. In 2021, the two countries inaugurated the China-Greece Belt and Road Joint Laboratory on Cultural Heritage Conservation Technology. It's a collaboration between 11 institutes from Greece and China. It is a multidisciplinary international cooperation platform which aims to exchange knowledge, experience, technology towards the study, understanding and conservation of our mutual cultural heritage. Through such communication, scientists and experts have not only learned from each other, but also better understood each other's culture and civilization. Uh, the Joint Lab plays a key role in promoting uh, exchanges and uh, enhancing mutual understanding. A single flower does not make spring, while 100 flowers in full blossom bring spring to the garden. This old Chinese saying was quoted by President Xi at the CPC in dialogue with World Political Party's high-level meeting in March 2023. During the address, Xi proposed the Global Civilization Initiative. Under the initiative, he called for respect for diversity of civilizations, advocating the common values of humanity, highly valuing the inheritance and innovation of civilizations, and jointly advocating robust international people-to-people -people exchanges and cooperation. This is indeed a, a, a very wise proposal. People-to-people -people contact, collaboration, interaction. This is very important to establish good bridges 
through this interaction we manage to understand each other and also get to realize the importance of uh, civilization diversity. I think it, it is greatly beneficial to both sides, it is greatly beneficial to the world.